Hello, Dino Nuggets, and welcome to episode three of Dino Tribe. We are expanding on this island. We are taking it over one by one. We are going to continue to this little block that has buildings. So I'd like to see what this is going to be. It's a poor land, so it's not really necessary. I guess maybe we might want to send less settlers. I'm not sure. So let's explore. Let's see what's going on here. New building is available to build. Walls, perfect for guiding enemies into your traps. Oh, that's fantastic. So now we can make walls to protect ourselves from the enemies. Oh, very cool. So now we can actually start feeling like we got some uh, civilization going here. I wonder what, what's that? Oh, plus 30 food. Oh, I've never seen that before. <laughs> that That's a little bit of a new, a new feature there, I would say. So let's start with the houses, as always. House, house, house. Bubba's house. And two settler houses. And let's go ahead and build those first. Um, and then we'll go for a farm, which we'll put here. And a kitchen, which we'll put here. Okay, let's start with that. That should be the easiest way to get started. Um, so learning a lot about how this game works, uh, but I feel like I said, a lot of it is out of my hands. So it's, it's almost hard to come up with strategy or anything of the sort when I'm not really entirely sure if there's any strategy behind it or if we're just watching and hoping for the best. <laughs> uh, I'm learning that having a variety of buildings helps a lot and having the different types of soldiers, especially the rangers, help a lot. They seem to do a lot of damage and they kind of like watch from a distance, which is very good for us, especially with some of the stronger enemies that we're looking at now. So we're going to continue to build this area. In fact, I think what I'm going to do is destroy this house because we only have three settlers and I'm going to start by not making the same mistake I did last time in building a ranger house here. Uh, we definitely want a ranger house. Uh, let's do build power if we can. Seven build is better than accidentally clicking one happy. So <laughs> we are OK with that. Our farm is built and it is growing food. Bubba's house should be done in a second here. Nice. And then one last house for the settlers. I wonder what this is. Oh, we can destroy this. More food there. I didn't think that we'd be able to destroy that. That's why I kind of like built around it, but that's kind of nice. Uh, tavern, we'll build the tavern. It makes people happy and the sick bay as well. Um, let's see here. Um, I think we definitely will build the wall this time around. I think uh, we wanna try to see what that might be like. If possible, maybe. Oh, we, we have to click it one at a time, which is a little bit of a bummer. Let's do happiness because everyone seems to be a bit sad. We don't want we don't want our guys to be too sad. <laughs> Although it does seem to happen at times kind of out of our control, I think, for the most part. So we're kind of making sure to build everything that we can build. And then going from there, I would like more ranger houses because we are going to pump up the rangers this time. I think we get three, three summons or three children whenever uh, it comes to setting off the enemies. So I think making sure that they become rangers is important. I'd really like for these guys to take better care of themselves. I don't know what I'm doing to for them not to take better care of themselves. Um, let's see here. So I, I don't know how the wall gets set up, but we could maybe do something like this. 
Okay, so you can't block off the enemy base, which I guess is probably ideal. <laughs> We're just going to build the wall this way. We want them to have to take the long way in order to get to our, our town. Uh, it gives our rangers time to attack. Maybe we can attack through walls. That would be great. Do we have, we don't have enough to summon a chef yet, which would be nice. You guys should go eat. I don't know why you guys are choosing not to eat. We've got plenty of food. We got a summon. We're going to get a chef first. Like I said, I think that's going to be an important one to grab for us. I think that does mean that we need another settler house, which we will wait. <laughs> well, oh no, because the chef lives in the kitchen, so that should be okay. You guys should just go to the kitchen. I don't understand why you're taking your time there. Okay, so the chef is here. Oh, maybe you guys are going to start eating? Would be fantastic. Oh, eight harvest, that's nice. Yeah, I don't know why they're starving. Oh, okay, so a bunch of them just went in for dinner. And then a few went into the sick bay. Go eat, dude. What are you doing? We've even been getting plus food <laughs> from these birds that keep flying by. That must be new because I did not notice it before. Uh, we probably don't need that one. That corner piece, we probably don't need it. So it may be worthwhile to destroy that corner piece. It's not going to prevent or it's not going to stop it, them from coming in here. I wish we would have thought about that because this can get destroyed as well. We want some happiness. Oh, I just said happiness and then I went for energy, but that's okay. <laughs> Destroy that. We just need the corner pieces. They're not going to be able to get in through the corner. I guess nighttime has approached. I don't really know. <laughs> I'm just going to assume that nighttime is upon us. Oh, we got another summon. We'll do a ranger this time. We're getting we're getting there with summoning the enemies. So that's a little bit tricky. I think the chef is sleeping outside for some reason. I thought you lived in the kitchen. Go inside and sleep. <laughs> it does seem like they might have trouble walking around uh, with buildings like this if there's no good roads between. So like the sick bay, I probably could have moved it over one. And then same with the ranger stations being moved over. Probably could have done a little bit better on that setup. Tyranitar is lonely. I didn't know we had a Pokemon here. Plus 30 food. Plus 7 happy. Nice. We are going to get attacked real soon here. Um, we'll hold off on this. I think I want the, ch the child to grow up first. I want the child to become a ranger if possible. They're also... Oh, you know what? It's because we don't have enough wood. I was trying to figure out why we were uh, not building the rest of this wall. So this wall is going to end up being pointless because the, the summon or the kids are going to happen before uh, these trees are done to build th these walls. Kind of unfortunate. We'll see how that ends up working. Hopefully it works out for us. Hmm. It's kind of fun to just watch this happen, though. I I'm enjoying. I'm enjoying seeing kind of the civilization uh, process. I've got to get a little bit better at managing 
the growth. I think that's kind of one of the main things right now that I've got to work on. Manage the growth a little better. I am purposefully not doing that summon until the enemies come in. I think that's kind of the safe bet. We've got trees growing. So we should be able to finish up this wall. They're, they're making a lot of progress now. Lizard is starving and depressed. Well, go to the tavern and or go to the kitchen. One of the two. It's not that bad, man. Just do better. <laughs> so I wonder if there's a way to raise the game speed. Oh, here we go. This is actually really nice. How much faster does that go? I think we should just turn it all the way up. We've got the basics down and we could pause if needed. This might make it a little easier uh, to figure out how to get a little bit quicker. So where are my stats at? Oh, let's do happiness. Nice, eight happy. Very nice. Um, We've got four settlers and three soldiers. Um, so enemies are going to start coming out. Let's grab a ranger. They went right through the wall. I was wrong. You do need the corner pieces. <laughs> <clears throat> Maybe it was just that one can come through. I'm not sure. That wasn't good. We seem to be destroying these guys this time around. I don't know who's gotten stronger. Uh, Bubba's done. Yeah, Bubba was not going to make that. Okay, well, this wall ended up being completely pointless. Ranger with more strength. Join the fight immediately. <laughs> so we are struggling. Oh, no, don't destroy that. I need a... Oh, I can't summon, I think, when enemies are attacking. This might be our first loss here. That might have saved us. Because now we're going to destroy this guy. Okay, we are safe, but barely. That was not good. <laughs> we still got a lot of civil points for that. Uh-oh, memory is being born. Oh, no. We died again. We bend the knee to this wonderful enemy. I don't know what... I don't know what that means. <laughs> um, and we've got an angry dino because we didn't make it. <laughs> I guess. I don't really know. <laughs> An active chief. Okay. We got destroyed by the wolf. That That's fine. These ruins have been used as a cog for something big. Select our ship, repair it to sail towards next nearby island, and find out more. So it seems as though we can go to the next island, which is cool. We can repair it. Bubba learned the art of changing stances. Change to offensive or defensive stance in Bubba's window. Cheerful outgoing active morza or quiet shy introvert ha kavix <laughs> what <laughs> i have no idea what this means uh, let's go with the cheerful outgoing and active morza soulmate added oh okay so that's apparently a soulmate cheerful outgoing active morza soulmates like to work in the background trying to keep harmony between settlers by aiding them Current package aids sleep, deprived settlers, boosting their energy to full. Okay. Interesting. Your territory is under attack by mammals. Winning might reveal some hiding settlers nearby. Okay, let's lead the battle here. Click after summoning. So let's summon rangers. Oh, we can only summon one. Click for info. It's too late to set up camp here, but you have defense ready in this area. Your powerful upgraded shrine generates and stores globes more efficiently than normal ones. Use it to summon your soldiers. 
These soldiers will automatically move towards enemies. Try to use many globes at the same time to send bigger waves towards the enemy. Okay, so it's it's basically a huge summon. It's basically a summon mini game. So let's go ahead and get this summoned. It does go very fast. I don't know where the Bubba window is for a defensive stance. I'm not sure. Well, we just lost Bubba because I couldn't change the defense stat, uh, stance. I thought that was a thing. Must not be. <laughs> Look at all of these normal enemies. <laughs> Let's get more Bubbas or get more Rangers. Ranger. I can just keep that open, it seems like. Rangers. <laughs> so this is actually, uh, that's going to be pretty easy, I think. I think we're just, we've got so many Rangers now at this point. <laughs> They're not really able to even attack us because we're so far away. It's kind of a bummer that we lost Bubba that way. So a Shaman is now available with the Shrine. Found shamans, they don't need sleep, live in shrines, boosting them if needed. The Cold Tail Tribe, item carver soldier dinos offer their house or to join you as plus five settlers. Let's give them houses. New house available in the research window. So the research window, now we can have a Cold Tail Carver house focused on item upkeep. I don't know if that's beneficial to us. At the moment, I thought we could click on that bird. <laughs> but that is another building for us to build. Let's go ahead and jump into our first exploration on the new island. Oh, it's a small island. Very small. Uh, we've got, that's our soulmate, I think. Do they live with us? No, I see. Oh, a, a carver. Yeah, so I was, I'm going to assume that they live with us. Let's do houses this way. Ranger house. Oh no, I didn't see that we had, I didn't see that we had a wall there. So we can't actually put the ranger house there, but we can't put it up here. I'm already doing what I said not to. So <laughs> let's destroy this one and build this house up here. We want plenty of spaces for our guys to walk through. I feel like it makes things a little bit easier. So they are definitely building. Um, I'm glad that the speed increase ended up being useful. They get these houses done very fast now, it seems. Bubba's house here. We're going to put the school right here in this corner because it's not going to be necessary to get up into that corner anyways and it's a one space building farm. And then we have our kitchen. We're going to have to not worry about. We're going to have to not worry about the setup and we just have to worry about getting Rangers <laughs> uh, because we are right next to. We're right next to this. Let's do a big build. Kitchen being built incredibly fast. Almost got all of our houses as well. I don't know if, do you have, okay, home is yes. So that's good to know. I wonder if when the settlers find a mate, I wonder if that means that they are, they don't need their own house. Ran out of food. Well, yeah, that's why we're building the farm. So you can walk between these. I guess that's good to know. Uh Oh, Bubba's a little bit irritated, I guess. So how do I change the stance? I'm not quite sure how you change the stance. They said something about the Bubba window <laughs> and I don't see a Bubba window. Big build energy. Perfect. 
So we have a shrine now as well. So that's gonna work its way up. Humperdink is in there. <laughs> so I wonder if I should build a shaman first. Oh, sick bay. We definitely need a sick bay. Uh, we also need to build trees. Because apparently... This is a really small island, so I feel as though it's very... It's interesting to see what to build on this island because we're not going to have a good time when the enemies spawn regardless. Let's do energy for Bubba. I don't know if that helps. Um, we will create a ranger because those rangers have been insanely useful to us. We have a one ranger house. So let's build another. The sick bay was built. That's good. Oh, a house and then ranger house. I'm not going to worry about the carver yet. I, I don't think it's necessary to worry about. I don't really know what that's going to do for us anyways. Once we get a summon, we'll do a chef. So let's summon a chef. And then the next two are definitely going to be rangers. We'll make sure to <laughs> to make sure rangers take over our Rangers will take over uh, the, the uh, enemies, I think, pretty easily, hopefully. We'll see. We got more trees down here that we can use. There's no point in building walls. They're just going to get through it anyways. So I'm not too concerned about that. I'm also not making a shaman because I don't feel as though it's necessary. We're going to summon another ranger. We have one more, seemingly one more summon or birth until the enemy spot. And we have two rangers. The rangers clean house. So I feel pretty confident having them. I really wish I could find out maybe, I guess, when we're in battle, but I didn't see it last time either. Oh, that wasn't what I wanted. Maybe we're when we're in battle, we're allowed to take a defensive stance. Since we have the range guys, taking defense is probably better anyways. Oh, are we ready for... I think we're ready for the enemies. They're going to appear right now. We've got three rangers, Bubba, and a chef. The chef did quite a bit of damage as well. I'm so angry at everything. I wish things got better. I'm sorry. They're all attacking each other. I don't know what they're mad about. Maybe they're... No, they're not homeless. They have homes. I'm not sure what has them so frustrated. But the mood of the entire place is happy, so I'm not entirely sure what's going on there. Oh, that's why they're mad. I don't have a tavern. Okay, that's okay, because we're going to get out of here right now. We're going to destroy all of these guys. We'll get some attack power. I, yeah, that was easy. <laughs> that was very easy. <laughs> Land was captured. Two mammals purified. We got some civil points. You found a shipwrecked lost settler. Okay, let's accept them. So we have 19 settlers and 108 uh, civils. That's fantastic. So we're on a new island. Uh, I guess we didn't finish the other island. Maybe I should have done that before moving on. But we've at least started a new island and that'll be it for this episode so i hope you guys enjoyed watching if you did leave a like 
subscribe to the channel for more uh, gameplay content. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Remember, as always, to have a great day, night, morning, whatever it is for you. And remember to always be on your Bubasaurus best. Bye, guys.